Hi everyone. So back again for redo review number two. Uh, this one would be for my Alexander Wang Rocky. Uh, my bag is right here in this Ikea pillowcase. Uh, the dust bag for the Rocky at least is ridiculously small. As soon as I saw it, I was like, there's no way I'm getting that bag in that dust bag stuffed. It's never going to happen. So one thing I always do if my bags don't fit properly or how I like them to fit in a dust bag, which is usually the bag has to be stuffed and then I put it in the dust bag usually, uh, is I keep them in a pillowcase. A pillowcase is awesome to use for a dust bag. I keep my speedies in pillowcases. Um, yeah, it allows you to put the bag in there fully stuffed and there's lots of room and it just works really well. So. This is my Alexander Wang Rocky. Uh, it is in vine, which is like an emerald green color. Okay, so we have the strap. Uh, it has this nice little comfort pad on it here to go on your shoulder, which is really nice and does make it really comfortable. Uh, I do keep the shoulder strap on this bag because I do use it with this bag. I do like to also carry it by the handheld handles, but it's also very convenient to just throw it on your shoulder. The drop on these handheld handles is I think the smallest of any of my bags. So it is nice to just be able to fling it on my shoulder and it is a relatively smaller bag, so it's pretty comfortable to carry that way. So outside features are the shoulder strap. This side is buckled on. It is very, very hard to get on and off. And this side is just clipped on, which usually comes off, there we go, relatively easily. I don't know why they make it so that one side is buckled and one is clipped, but that's just how Mr. Wang wanted to do it and that's the way it is. So that is the shoulder strap details. Uh, handheld handles are rolled leather, so they come across in the big strip and then they're just rolled into little handles. Uh, there is an outside, two outside pockets actually on this bag just at the side in the little crevice here. I have never used those pockets. I know they're not very deep, but if you wanted to hide your secret spy government ID in it, I guess you could do that because most people don't know there is two pockets there. So yes, two pockets, zippers on either side. Yes, so inside features of this bag. Oh, and I guess I should say some of the Rockies have metal zipper pulls and some of them have these leather ones. It's different every season. Some of them have the metal zipper pulls and some of them have the leather. I thought maybe it was just an older thing on older bags, first of all, but I've seen it like that on newer bags, so I don't really know how they decide how to make which zipper pulls, but that is something to know I guess I don't know so their zipper unzips in a lunchbox style so it's like a crescent moon which allows you to get into the bag very easily it opens up really wide so you can see all your stuff I have this stuffed with towels and old t-shirts so let me just pull those out and oh here's the original dust bag small very, very small. So that's where I keep it when I put it in the pillowcase. So the lining on the inside is kind of like a black satiny fabric, uh, similar to the Philip Lim lining, but not as silky, if that makes any sense. Uh, there is one zipper pocket at the back here. Uh, mine just has the care cards and stuff in there. Uh, it's relatively deep. I can pretty much put, I don't know if you can even see that, but my whole hand in there. So you could, let's see if my phone will fit in there. Oh, it does. So you can put a Samsung Galaxy phone in the zip pocket and zip it up, no problem. I didn't think it was gonna fit in there when I was looking at it with my eyes, but surprise, learn something new every day. Uh, the zipper pull on this one doesn't have a leather fob. It's just a metal zipper pull on that. And then on the front side of the bag, there are two slip pockets. Uh, one is longer than the other. So there's this one here and then this one over here. Both very, very deep pockets. Let's see. 
I can fit my phone in it to about here, like where the white part starts at the, I guess, yeah, that would be the bottom. <laughs> and then the other one is a lot more narrower, uh, but it fits this phone like, I'm gonna say like a glove. <laughs> it fits perfectly in the smaller pocket. So those are the two pockets. Uh, there is a leather Alexander Wang tag at the back here, right in front of the zip pocket. And other than that, the bag is just one big pit. So we'll go through with my daily belongings and put them in here so you can see how much it holds. So Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, phone, I'm gonna put it in the little pocket, Kleenex, dental floss, two lip products, keys, I can leave the puff ball on for sure, it fits in here, sunglasses in the big case fit in there, and there is room for lots more stuff. I don't know if I'd want to put anything else in here because it is quite a heavy bag, uh, but yes, there is room. I could probably even put a sweater, like a light spring cardigan in there for sure, no problem. So just zip that up. There she is, full of my stuff. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, which I don't know why, but uh, there's also all these gold studs on the bottom, uh, just like with the Rocco, except there's one less row. So the Rocco has five rows of studs and the Rocky has four rows of studs. Um, sorry, whoops. Too close to the wall. Um, yes, so those studs do definitely add weight to this bag. Um, it doesn't really bother, but it does make it heavy. So here's it on me, my shoulder strap. Let's see here, where is it set to? My shoulder straps keep getting all twisted up. Okay, uh, so mine is on the, how many holes are there? There are three holes and mine is on the, you can't even see that, there are three holes and mine is on the middle hole. So I could shorten the strap if I wanted, but I could also make it longer. So shoulder carry, it hits me right on the hip. This is exactly where I want it to be. It's perfect access for my hands. Uh, yes, so you could also wear this crossbody. Uh, once again, I find this too high, but if I did lengthen that strap that extra bit, it would probably be fine, but I much just prefer having it on my shoulder as opposed to crossbody. So this is how I wear it when it's on my shoulder or I hand carry it, so. That is the Alexander Wang Rocky. This one is in Vine. It is a color from last year that you can't get anymore, but I do know that this year they have a gorgeous sapphire blue color. I don't know the color name, but it is beautiful. And I think it has silver hardware. I did give a glance at it, but didn't go for it. Already have one. So this is Vine. Uh, yes, this is the Alexander Wang Rocky review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions about this bag, just leave them below. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Bye.